Hey guys, AI Tech here again, back in, of course with another one. So today we're going to take a look at two of the most popular streaming music services out at the moment, and that is of course Spotify and Tidal. So let's go right into it. So first of all, we are on the Spotify, it's been around the longest since 2008 actually and using the app, the experience it definitely shows, it's very fast when navigating around and Spotify has just four menus, home, browse, radio and library and there's also the search option. If you switch back to Tidal, you can see their lack of experience showing here, they've got nine menus. I feel like the first three are basically the same thing and could somehow be combined into one. Playlists could definitely be made part of library and so on. Overall, in just looking at it and the user interface, Spotify comes out on top. One thing Tidal did do better is the positioning of the search. It's consistently at the top right hand of the screen, which is the best place I think for it to be. Unlike Spotify, where you have to open the menu on the left, then access search. So speaking of search, it's something they both do well actually, but for different reasons. Spotify does something clever where when you search for a song which you already have in your library, it puts it at the top of the list which is great and is often what you want. On the other hand, Tidal doesn't do this but it, what it does do is a nicer job of, of sorting between albums and individual tracks. So something you appreciate when you listen to an album with a self-titled track. In addition, I feel both of these services could improve their search when searching for things like B.O.B. It returns Bob instead of the artist B.O.B. Or say you search for Justin Bieber's Who Are You Now? If you don't put in the right, exactly the right syntax, you might not get the result you want. But apart from that, they both search great. Panda. Panda. Next up the music, I mean after all this is what we're here for, we have this app and we pay for them to listen to music, so what have they got? Well Spotify boasts 30 million songs and Tidal says they have about the same amount. And if you listen to mainstream artists you find that most of your preferences are probably in both of these, except for in the case of Spotify where they don't have Taylor Swift for some reason. But um, yeah, if you listen to a lot more independent and alternative artists, you find Spotify more to your liking. So lastly, I'll be talking about some additional things both of these platforms have. Both offer video but come nowhere close to YouTube's partnership with Vivo, straight up. Tidal just recently added a suggested tracks, which is, has become my favourite feature of the app actually. So when you listen to a song below, there's a list of tracks, of related tracks that you can add to your queue. So you can just listen to them straight away after you've done listening to the song you're currently listening to. So in conclusion, which of these are better? Well, to be honest, both of them are great and you wouldn't be disappointed with either of them really. But for me, I think Tidal slightly takes it here. But funny enough, I'm actually going to keep using Spotify because here in the UK I can get a student discount which means I can get Spotify for half the price and Tidal can't really compete with that so yeah. So that's it for my comparison if you've got any questions I might answer them in the comment section. Apart from that I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you in another one.